Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. On this channel, the majority of what I cover is emulator based. If you've been following for a while, you already know that, but if you're brand new to the Complaining Gamer channel, welcome. One of the things a lot of you have requested is for me to take a look at older emulators. Now, before I go too far into the past, let's check out something a bit more recent. You may have noticed that my current content has been exploring a wider variety of emulators, so I hope you're enjoying that and you can expect it to continue. Today we're going to have some fun with Citra. Citra is an established developed emulator of the Nintendo 3DS. At this point many of you are most likely familiar with Citra or simply haven't used it in some time. Whatever your approach I can safely say that it is better than ever to start or get back into 3DS emulation. Citra has everything from an online community to multiplayer. If you'd like me to dive into the details in a later video, please let me know. For now, I'm just going to talk about certain features and things I like. One reason why Citra is interesting is because it provides the building blocks for Yuzu, a Nintendo Switch emulator which I've previously talked about. Feel free to check out that content. The crucial members behind both Citra and Yuzu are more or less the same, with Citra providing the core code for Yuzu to get started. The first thing you'll notice about Citra is the level of polish it has. Delivered in its own installer, the user can take a hands-off approach, eliminating the intimidation factor emulators can have on the player. Once installed, you're ready to go. However, unless you demand the 100% authentic experience, I recommend making a few changes. In the end, you're most likely playing on a PC and monitor. So this is where Citra already starts to become interesting. It suits both weaker and powerful systems. Naturally, you would need to compensate for the given hardware in question. Citra developers themselves would admit that more can still be done in this area and development continues to this day on the emulator. Obviously, the 3DS utilizes two screens, something which could potentially visually interrupt a gaming experience on one screen but the Citra team have managed to deal with this issue competently. In the view menu, you can choose between single screen, large screen and side by side. My personal preference is single window mode with a single screen layout because it offers the most screen real estate yet still enables the functionality of the second screen in a lot of instances unless strictly exclusive thanks to the use of a mouse click. Offering functionality accurately is one thing, but the true magic trick of Citra is in its upscaler, allowing resolutions of up to 10 times native at 4000 by 2400 bearing in mind that the 3DS default res is a minuscule 400 by 240 and Citra does this absolutely perfectly where 3D elements allow. Now, certain fixed assets like still images or UI don't scale to the same quality, but that has minimal to zero impact on actual gameplay, the most important thing. Basically, in full screen mode, my go-to function keys are F11 and F9 to switch 3DS screens when absolutely necessary. The game on screen is 2014's Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, which was just released for the 3DS on July the 13th, 2018, along with its Switch counterpart. Originally released on the Wii U, Treasure Tracker is such a beautifully designed game where you search for gems in mini maze stages with full camera control. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend it as it's such a fantastic experience and not as simple as it may deceptively seem, plus it runs great on Citra. The one downside you might say about Treasure Tracker on 3DS is that it runs at 30 FPS. Ultimately, visuals, sound and performance are all on point and a testament to the team behind Citra and now Yuzu. A huge reason to revisit Citra is due to the hardware renderer update which happened back in March, leading to close to 100% performance increase depending on your hardware. So do yourself a favour and download Citra today. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. All Complaining Gamer social media links are provided. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like. If you didn't dislike, and to stay up to date with all things emulation, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.